Hey guys, we're back. Hey, you have a good time? Yeah, it was great. Did you guys take care of the place like I asked? Yes. Did you get the mail? Yep. Did you take care of the cats? Definitely. Great, well, thanks. Do you think you could help unload the car? Whoa, what happened to the bathroom door? Oh, yeah. It kind of fell off. Really? We've just kind of been picking it up and moving it. I actually like it better that way. I'll go get my tools. Uh, we bartered them for money so we could buy ice cream. You! What kind of ice cream? Cookies and cream. Well, why didn't you say that? Where is it? It's great to be back here on Five Things. I'm happy to be back and doing it. Episode 101 shall now commence. Set in this week by Paintball Duke is a new web series called You, Me, and Him. Oh, I just started. Let's do something really big. Like a party with girls. Hey, oh, we don't own girls. Three roommates are forced to move in together after things in the real world don't quite work out the way they thought they would. And kids, this is a lesson of life. They never do. And soon enough, some sitcom cliches work their way into their lives. Also, there's singing and dancing. We got a good one, friend zone. I'd rather be in hell than in the friend zone. The friend zone's where you want to be. Then you're gonna have to live life without me. It is obvious that a lot of hard work went into this, and it does not have that many hits, so make sure you go check it out. Carter and I are within two episodes of the end of season four of Buffy in the entitled Buffy Project. And I don't think we ever really got a chance to talk about the women of Buffy. I mean, I know a few times Carter has talked about the things Sarah Michelle Gellar is wearing and is like, she should wear things like that more. I haven't gotten a chance to spill my guts on my crush on Buffy. Maybe it's because she's crazy, maybe it's because she's into a total schlub, but I have always been a huge fan of Anya. I don't know what it is about her, but Emma Caulfield. And Emma Caulfield is now vlogging on YouTube. It's Thursday. It's my very first vlog. She only started two weeks ago, so she only has four videos up, but in some of them she gives advice. And in another one, for instance, she's doing beat poetry on Batman. Witness ye the pilgrims who gather to worship at his perfectly chiseled face. I don't know what I would have expected from Emma Caulfield vlogging, but somehow this feels about right. Sent in by Josh Hankins, AKA Spankins. Thanks, man. I bring you the V Motion Project. <laughs> Friend of Five Things, Ricari, recently said on Twitter something about how he doesn't understand how an advertisement could be considered art. Well, I was not looking for this thing to prove him wrong, but this is an advertisement. It's also dubstep, but let's just admit that and move on. Everything that you're seeing is taking place in real time. Those motions are really controlling the sound samples that you're hearing. And maybe the funniest thing is all I could think while I was watching this is this is basically just a high-tech theremin. One of my favorite shows on TV is Dan Harmon's- oh, I can't say that anymore. One of my favorite shows on TV is Community, and one of the reasons I love it is each week it can take on a completely different style and genre, and it doesn't really matter. You can still tell it's the same show with the same heart. One time they did a completely stop-motion animated episode. What I did not realize is that the guy who plays Starburns on the show- My name's Alex, dude. Is the guy who animated that episode because he is also the creator of Moral Oral. I don't know how I didn't realize that before. But anyway, him and Dan Harmon and Charlie Kaufman? The cinematic genius behind such films as Being John Malkovich, Adaptation, and Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Yeah, that Charlie Kaufman have pulled themselves together for a Kickstarter project entitled Anomalisa. This will be Charlie Kaufman's first animated work, but if you've seen any of his other stuff like Eternal Sunshine or Synecdoche in New York, you will know that perhaps animation is a better way for him to go. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and is only made possible today through Kickstarter and the support of people like you. So if you're interested in securing a digital copy of the movie, head over to the Kickstarter and kick in some funds. 
So this video that you're watching is an 88 woman skydiving team called the Pearls of Russia. This is a record setting feat that you're watching. This is the largest woman's formation skydiving team thing that has ever been done. And while that's really cool and awesome, the comments on the video have not been so awesome. It's about what you'd expect from the internet. A lot of get back in the kitchen. Ugh. So my challenge to you Charmy members is go over to that video don't respond to the haters. Don't even try. It's not worth it. What I want you to do is respond to the video and leave a nice comment. I, I think that the biggest irony here is that the people who are flaming the video could never do this. So go over to the video, leave your Charmy comment and say something nice. If all you want to say is this is f***ing awesome, just say this is f***ing awesome. That does it for five things this week. Thank you very much for watching. It's great to be back. Please click like below, it really helps. Leave a comment, let me know what your favorite thing is. Follow me on Twitter at Sean B. Martin. Look for Sean and Carter have a podcast in the iTunes store this weekend when I promise, I promise, come hell or high water, we will talk about The Dark Knight Rises. And I'll see you next week. So I got two souvenirs on vacation. I got the hat that I was wearing. Okra Coke, that's where we went. And I got a new drink koozie. It says Outer Banks. I did shoot some video footage on vacation. I'll probably put it together in a little video and Alicia and I will talk about it. I'll upload it sometime. It's been a week since we got back almost and I still haven't like actually done it. But that's because I've been busy doing other things. Check out On My Left, Your Right. The latest episode of Sean and Carter Have a Podcast is up top. We did not talk about The Dark Knight uh, Rises because Carter wasn't able to see it. It's okay. We had tons of stuff to talk about. Anyway, in the middle, I've got my advertisement for my two-week drum project over on Chances Are Limited. That is uh, me drumming Beatles songs. I finally got around to drumming some Beatles songs. There they are, go check it out. And on the bottom is my little advertisement for me recently joining the Langcast podcast called Guys Night. I'm on there with three other dudes, we talk about some nerd stuff, it's kind of fun, you should check it out. Make sure you stay tuned to SVM Gaming for my Psychonauts Let's Play, and pretty soon a return to some Minecraft videos. Get excited. Like seriously, get excited. Hey, what happened to the... what happened to the... I'm standing right here. Delivering my lines from right here. How does that sound? <laughs> As usual, neighbors are making a bunch of noise. And it's quiet. It's dead quiet in here until I go to record. I turn on the camera and then all of a sudden there's a bunch of activity right outside the windows, which is even louder now because I have the air conditioning unit in. And then there's a bunch of activity out in the hallway. Like people opening and closing every door that there is.